All right, so let's get into this math here, and we have thinking about fractions, uh, Bridges math, and we have again another pizza issue. So Rico's dad brought home two pizzas exactly the same size. Okay, there they are. And the, uh, let's see, pepperoni was cut into six equal pieces. Okay, now six pieces is a little bit trickier to do compared to fourths or eighths. You have to kind of figure out how to f make the pieces equal. You can't just split half of a half. But if you can do that again, this cheese pizza was cut into 12 equal pieces. The way you get 12s is do the same thing. Try to make six the best you can. And then you can make the six and half, and that will give you 12. So that's how you would do 12. Now we've got an issue in this family because um, Luis had two pieces of pepperoni and Carlota had four pieces of cheese. And then, oh dear, Luis started crying and he probably said, no fair, because he thought Carlo Carlota got more pizza than he did. And Carlita said, they got exactly the same amount. So we kind of illustrated it already. Um, did Carlota get more or did Luis get the same amount? Was what Carlota said. We kind of illustrated it already. And we already kind of did part B. So who was right, Luis or Carlota? And you can finish that one on your own. And then Vincent. Oh, dear Vincent. Vincent says one-fourth is bigger than one-third because four is more than three. Do you agree with Vincent? Maybe the best way to figure this out is to just draw two equal long rectangles like this. And here, you can cut this one into one-fourth. So there's one-fourth. And then cut the other one into one-third and see which one's bigger and see if Vincent is correct or not. And then we're moving on to the next page. This is kind of what we've done in class. Talia says one third and two six are equivalent. And they're already giving us the egg cartons to figure this out. So just remember the denominator is going to mean equal parts or groups. So if we have one third, it means we need three equal groups. And that would be one third there. <clears throat> okay. And if we're two six, we would need to cut uh, this into six equal groups, but then fill in two of them, and are they the same? And then you've already explained with a, your egg cartons if one-third and two-sixths are equivalent. Uh, and then you can use that information to do part C as well. And then we've got the challenge, which is a pretty good one. Um, okay, so usually in a 12-egg carton, one-sixth equals two eggs. So when one of these cartons, one-sixth, would be two eggs. But sometimes you can get really big cartons of eggs. Like if you go to Costco or something, they have huge egg cartons. And here we're talking about bigger egg cartons. So this one here, uh, one sixth of the carton is three eggs. So let's go ahead and say, okay, three eggs is one sixth. That's one of the groups. How big is the carton? Well, there are six groups, right? So you keep doing that till you have six groups, and then you're going to know how big that egg carton is. Um, and answer. The carton has <clears throat> how many eggs? Now this one is the bigger challenge. Five, six is 25 eggs. Okay, so again, we need... Um, six groups. I'm just going to start to circle those six groups like this. Okay, so there's my six groups, and I'm going to make a note on the side that I'm filling in five of those six groups with X's. So this one is getting filled in. Five of these six groups are getting filled in, but this last one would be empty. So here, I'm going to put a uh, zero for empty. Okay, so I know I'm filling these in, but I don't know how 
MIDI it's going to be, right? Um, but we know the total's 25 eggs. We know we have five rows we're filling in. So can you think to yourself, five times what would give you 25? And then you're going to fill in those rows <coughs> uh, with those red X's or whatever color you're using. And this last row is not going to be filled in. It's going to be the same size, but you're not filling it in. You can go ahead and complete that circle. And then you'll know how many eggs would be there total. Okay, and again, most of the work is done on these little grids, but that's how you would figure that one out. So that's it for this thinking about fractions. Thank you and goodbye.